How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle. Today we've got a new team, we've got a Luxray team. If you want to battle me then join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Alright, we found our opponent, Poppyhead21 from the Discord server. They've got a pretty cool looking team, they've got a Blastoise, Rhyperia, Roserade, Rotom Heat, Crawdon and an Espeon. We're over here chilling with a Celebi, a Swampert, Luxray, Salamence, Porygon 2, and a Scizor. So looking at their team, they might want to lead with the Rotom, because Rotom's a pretty good lead. Um, we can counter lead that with Swampert. In fact, Swampert's a pretty good lead for us in general. However, my gut's now telling me that Roserade's going to lead to counteract the Swampert lead. So what I'm going to do is, because I don't really have much for, for Roserade, really. Um, I'm thinking I might just go ahead and lead with something like Scizor. I think Scizor's a, a solid one, so let's go with Scizor lead and we can scare the Roserade out and get U-turn off. And the battle begins, my opponent's gonna lead off with the Espeon, which is even better for us, my gut was wrong, uh, as we lead with Scizor. So Scizor's over here chilling, looking all golden and yellow and stuff like that. Uh, what we're gonna do is go straight for a U-turn, they might want to set up a um, light screen slash reflect, probably a reflect in this instance. Uh, which is probably going to nullify the damage, so I'm not expecting a KO here, but it's going to do a lot of damage, and we get a free switch in. They go for the light screen! That's not the right play. Should have gone for a reflect there, to be honest with you. So, U-turn comes through, nearly gets the KO on the Espeon, which is amazing, as uh, we're going to switch out now. We can bring in whatever we want, um, pretty much, as long as it outspeeds. Slash has a priority move, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our Salamence. I think Salamence is the right one. Yeah, Salamence definitely outspeeds. Probably the only thing that outspeeds on their team, actually, to be fair, um, without Sizzle's Bullet Punch. So we're going to Salamence real quick. There we go. Nice and shiny. And on the ground. Boots on the ground. Just like how cards should be. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, probably going to see a switch right now into the likes of, say, a Rhyperia or Blastoise. Um, I think we go straight for a Dragon Claw still, because they might just let Espeon go down at this point. Well, let's see what they do. We'll go for a Dragon Claw. If they switch out, they switch out. They stay in, and they're going to get bopped by a Dragon Claw. So, Espeons are down already, which is pretty awesome. Um, Luxray's looking pretty not too great here. I mean, if we get the Guts up, and we can get a um, Ice Fang off on the Rose Raid. That's going to be great. Blastoise as well. They send in the Rhyperia, the giant. That is Rhyperia. Um, this thing's really scary for us. But we do have the Swampert, so it's not too scary. Let's go into Swampert. Swampert's obviously the perfect switch here. Uh, definitely 100 million percent the perfect switch here, so we'll go into Swampert. There we go. We should be able to sponge any attack this thing throws us. They go for a Rock Polish, which is quite scary. It is quite scary, that is. As uh, we can just go straight for a Scold, right? I think Scold's the play, so we'll go for a Scold. We'll go for a Scold. But yeah, like I was saying about Luxray, I mean, we outspeed the Crawdot. We just got to be able to live an Aqua Jet. Um, we outspeed Blastoise, can go for a Wild Charge. Might be able to do some decent stuff here. So, they're going to bring in Blastoise now, and they're probably going to set up a Shell Smash, right? Uh, we get the Scold off. Did we get the Burn as well? That'd be nice. Maybe? We got the Burn! Yes! Okay, cool. So, a little bit of chip damage on the Blastoise. So, I'm looking at this situation, and I'm thinking, how do we handle Blastoise? Now, uh, it's going to be a difficult one. Um, we can definitely get a Discharge off on it with Porygon. So I think we switch into Porygon now, and we try and go for that Discharge real quick. So we'll switch out. The, like I said, they're probably going to go straight for a Shell Smash. Um, maybe it was better to go into go for an Earthquake. I don't know at this point. We'll go into Porygon anyway. Porygon 2. We're going to trace his Torrent, because that's really useful. And uh, there's the Shell Smash. So, oh dear, this is scary. So Blastoise with a Shell Smash up is a very scary Pokemon to deal with. However, I'm pretty confident that Porygon 2 over here can definitely take a hit. We are specially defensive course so i think we're in a decent place a decent place to be fair so what we're going to do is we're obviously going to go straight for a discharge now if you're wondering why i'm carrying discharge over thunderbolt it's because it has a 30 percent chance to paralyze as opposed to 10 percent chance that thunderbolt has so i think I, I figured it works out better it's basically like the scold of electric type moves all right it's going to go for a surf so looking at that it means it hasn't got aura sphere which is always good to know surf does about 50 percent to us which is whew, a lot of damage to a porygon Discharge doesn't do too much damage, though, which isn't good at all. Really isn't good. Leftovers recovery is going to be nice, but at the same time, it's not. So I'm thinking our saving grace here is going to be Celebi. 
I think Celebi can probably take a hit. Um, Sizzle could probably take a hit as well. I don't think Porygon's doing too much this game, though. I really don't think Porygon's doing too much. Um, the only thing I can think to do here is to switch into Salamence real quick on the uh, incoming Surf. Take the Surf, switch into Sizzle to take an Ice Beam, go for a U-turn. And then um, try and get some damage off somehow. So we're going to Salamence to take a Surf. We definitely take a Surf with Salamence. That's 100% sure. So come on, let's see what we do. There's the Surf. It's going to not do too much damage to us. This is about 50%. That's quite terrifying, actually. Um, considering it's resisted. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go into Sizzle now, expecting an Ice Beam. If they don't have Ice Beam, I'm going to be very concerned. They've got to have Ice Beam, right? Surf, Ice Beam, Shell Smash, and then whatever the fourth, uh, third move is. Um, so we'll go into Sizzle now to take an Ice Beam. See what we can do here. Let's have a look, shall we? Ice Beam comes through. We should definitely tank that, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Okay, cool. So... Um, this situation is tough to deal with, to be honest with you. It's pretty tough to deal with. So, what I'm thinking is, we go for a U-turn. Oh, well, yeah, that's why Discharge is so little damage. That makes sense. Yeah, light screen. I completely forgot about light screen. My bad. Um, let's go for a U-turn. Anyway, we should be able to take at least one Surf. There we go. They're going to withdraw the Blastoise. Interesting, interesting. And they're going to go into Roserade. I don't think that was the play, to be honest with you. I really don't think that was the, the right play. So we'll go for a U-turn on the Roserade, which is great. And we'll go on back. Go on back. And what we can do now is we can actually bring in Luxray. And Luxray should be able to just go ahead and go for an Ice Fang and take this thing out, right? I mean, we went out of speed. Like, that's for sure. But regardless... We at least can't be put to sleep by sleep powder. So, not too bad of a situation. So, what we can do now is, like I said, we'll go for an Ice Fang. Like so. Boom. An Ice Fang should definitely take out Roserade. They could switch out here into the likes of Rotom. I don't... Rotom is a decent switch either way, to be fair. They stay in and go for a Sludge Bomb. We're going to be able to catch KO with the Luxray, which is perfect. So, we've got one down. That's Roserade out of the way. And that's one less threat for Swampert as well. So, that's great. That's absolutely great. So, what can they bring in now... That will outspeed us. Now, I'm kind of thinking... Hmm, I think they bring Rhyperia in, right? Or they can just bring in Rotom. There's the Rotom. So, Rotom, yeah. Rotom is the solid switch there. So, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go for a crunch on the off chance that um, it goes for like a trick or something. Overheat. Nope. Fair enough. That's actually worked out really nicely for us. Because it means now we get a free switch into the Rotom with something that can KO it. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Luxray being gone. Um, it got to do something, which is always great. Uh, the obvious switch here is Swampert. So I'm going to go into Swampert real quick. Swampert just walls the crap out of this thing. Big time walls, big time walls. So what we can do is we are going to go for a Stealth Rox. Uh, Stealth Rox is a good one because it's going to damage the Rotom on the switches. And also it'll break a Focus Sash on a Crawdon and do a little bit more damage to the Blastoise on the switch. So let's go for a Stealth Rox. They're definitely going to switch out, right? There we go. They switch out into Blastoise or Crawdon. Crawdon. That's a risky one because if I wave the Scold there, you'd be a bit stuffed, you know? You'd be a little bit stuffed. So, uh, this Crawdon is a very scary Pokemon to deal with right now. Um, I think the only way I'm, I, I need to go for an Earthquake. I can't risk switching out and then getting a free Dragon Dance off. They go for the knockoff. It does a hell of a lot of damage. Adaptability boosted, etc. Um, it's Life Orb, so that's even more threatening. Earthquake doesn't do nearly enough damage. What is with my Swamp? Oh, no, it's a physically defensive Swampert, which makes it all the more annoying how much damage that knockoff did. We should be able to take one more knockoff, but they're probably going to go for a Waterfall, right? So I think the play is to go Salamence and get the Intimidate off. I think that's the play. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go in Salamence, and Salamence can just go straight for a Dragon Claw and hopefully take this thing out. So let's see what happens, shall we? Intimidate off, which is great. Hopefully they didn't go for a knockoff again. That'd be really frustrating. They go for an Aqua Jet, which isn't going to do much damage at all. And we're going to get some Life Orb, which is perfect. This means we can go straight for a Dragon Claw. And it's looking like a decent day for Salamence over here. Or do we go for the Earthquake expecting the Rhyperia? I think Earthquake expecting the Rhyperia is a decent shout. Let's go for the Earthquake expecting the Rhyperia. If they bring Rotom in for some reason, then we can just go back to Swampert, right? There's the Rhyperia. Boom. Uh, I know this isn't going to KO or anything like that, obviously, but it's got solid rock and it's good to get some super effective damage off here and there. That is some decent damage. It's more than I thought it would be. 
to be honest with you, because obviously Rhyperia is very bulky. It's got solid rock as an ability. Um, we just don't have a very good switch in right now. I'm thinking we go Porygon 2 just to sack it off. Swampert, I want to keep Swampert around for the Rotom a bit more, personally. So we'll go into Porygon 2. You never know, they might miss. But we get solid rock now, which is perfect. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, we're going to go down to a Stone Edge. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using Porygon 2 over Porygon Z, it's because Porygon 2, despite its lack of an Eviolite that it gets anymore, it's still got base 95 defenses and a decent health. It does a decent job at tanking hits still, even without the Eviolite. Um, so, in this situation, we go into our Celebi. Celebi is definitely a very good Pokemon against this person's entire team. If we can get the Rotom out of the way, we will be golden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expect the Rotom to come in. I'm going to go straight for a Psychic. They are going to withdraw. Are they going to go into Rotom? That'd be perfect if we can catch the Rotom. There we go. In comes the Rotom. So Celebi gets a free Psychic off on the Rotom. We get to go into Swampert to wall this thing. Go for a Psychic. There we go. Damn! That's some decent damage. Okay, so we don't know what kind of Rotom this is. I have a very good guess based on the fact we haven't seen Leftovers or a Berry. I'm going to guess that it is a Choice Scarf variant. So, I'm going to go straight into Swampert real quick. There we go. Come on back, Lime. I know it's not the most original nickname in the world, but I just couldn't think of one. So, I was just like, you know what? We'll, we'll call you Lime. <laughs> Why not? So, they go for an Overheat. That's, of course, going to not take us out, but do a lot of damage. Because um, it is an Overheat from a Rotom. You know, decent damage. Leave me alone. Anyway, um, what we can do here is we can go straight for a... I, do, I don't think they... Probably keep Rotom in, right? Rotom is basically dead, so we would have to. We can pretty much get rid of the rest of the team with Celebi, right? So what we can do is expect them to switch. At, uh, no, 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 no. They'll go for a Scald. I think they stay in here and go for another Overheat. Yeah, there we go. See, get the KO. It's fine. 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 So Swampert goes down, but we no longer need Swampert because the Rotom is basically dead. They can't switch it out because if they do, they're just going to die to Stealth Rocks the next time they bring it in. Um, I think now the play is to go into Scizor and go for a Bullet Punch. So there we go. We're going Scizor, get a Bullet Punch off, which is always nice. Always nice. Always nice. Go for a Bullet Punch and it should they should stay in, right? Yeah, they stay in. They let Rotom go down. No, no reason to keep it around. So Rotom is gone. Which means Celebi is going to have a field day here. So Celebi is looking good. Celebi is going in the thumbnail. Celebi is a beast. Easily. Easily a beast in this situation. There's the Crawdon. So we have the case with Crawdon. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and take out Crawdon with the Scizor. Because, um, you know, actually, no, then it, ignore me, ignore me. That's not a very good play. We'll go for a U-turn on it. We'll go for a U-turn. We don't care if it goes for Aqua Jet or whatever it wants to go for point here is get the KO on the U-turn, get Celebi in, and Celebi can then go for a Leaf Storm and take something out. So that's the general plan I've got going on there. So we'll bring Sizzle back in. We'll go straight into Celebi, and Celebi should be able to clean up from here, right? There we go. We're going to Lime real quick. There we go. Little tiny Lime. Little tiny Celebi over here. So are they going to bring in Rhyperia or Blastoise? Both of which will meet their demise at the hands of Celebi, I'm afraid. So Stealth Frox digs into the Blastoise. They have no chance, no hope. I could go for a Psychic, to be fair, to take this thing out, but I just want to see Leaf Storm, just for the sake of it, you know? So let's go for it. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Blastoise complete overkill. Getting the Blastoise out of there is perfect. And, of course, the Rhyperia comes in. Now, I'm wondering whether with the special attack drop that we've got now, will... Uh, Rhyperia with solid rock will it live a, life, a leaf storm that's a really good question a really good question no not that help surely not I mean it's always a possibility it's not really a possibility it's leaf storm for crying out loud let's go for it let's go for it let's go for it let's go for it let me take you out there we go down goes the Rhyperia and that ladies and gentlemen is the game so thank you so much for watching today's video it has been a blast I really enjoyed this battle so GG to Poppyhead21. Um, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.